this is Nikki again and what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be pointing um, a stone wall up in lime mortar. Um, I'll show you a picture of it in a minute and here we go. I'm not very good at it, I've only just learned how to do this over the past say 15 months. Um, Self-taught so um, yeah, leave your comments if you think I'm doing it wrong and here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, the tools that I'm using today are um, a pointing trowel. You can get them from any uh, DIY store. Um, they've got little little sharp ends, and this is just the right size for doing the pointing. Um, I'm also going to need water spray to wet the walls down with first. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see, I've got a watering can with some water in and my bucket. And my bucket has got in it lime plaster. Okay. Try not to make a dust of it because um, it's not that brilliant for you to breathe in. Um, the lime that I'm using today, the mortar that I'm using today is um, is called natural lime mortar. You can get it in different colours. It's pure lime mortar for repointing and building. Um, you mix it just with water. You said oh, I said plaster earlier, apparently, and it's not. It's uh, it's for pointing and building natural lime mortar. Um, when you mix it, you're not supposed to mix it for any more than 10 minutes um, and just mix it to um, just so it mixes to the correct workability and you'll find out the right workability of when you're actually using it. You'll think, oh, um, no, I need it. I need it thicker or I need it more um, loose and you add more water. Okay then. So now we're going to uh, add mix the mortar. So I'm just going to put some water in like that. I'm going to get my little trowel and just slowly start mixing it. Hi, right. I've mixed my mortar up. It looks a bit like um, a bit like this at the moment. go. Okay. Um, um, there we go, there's a bit more. That's how I like to mix it, that's how the, the consistency I like it to work with. Okay, I only mixed it for a few minutes and that's fine for me. Okay. As I said before, I'm no professional at it. I've just taught myself how to do it, and this is how, how I do it to get an effect. Today I'm doing it on an interior wall. Um, the person who owned the house before had filled it with like a, a cement mix um, over the top. So what I've done is I've dragged the cement out, back out. I've hoovered it in between, um, so there's no dust in there. So now what I'm gonna do is um, use the spray bottle and spray it down. Okay, because otherwise, I think the theory is that when you put the lime mortar on, the um, the stone will soak all the moisture up out of the mortar and uh, make it dry too quick. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna do now is filling these holes here. Okay. Um, right, so if this goes wrong now, which it probably will. Because this is cosmetic, um, 
I can make it just so it looks nice. Um, it'll still do the same job, it'll still make it so the wall's breathable, um, but it all, uh, I just want it to look nice because it's in the living room. Okay, so, if I was doing it outside, I think you have to do a lip, um, it has to go in and then over to the edge of the outside, uh, just on the edge of that stone, the bottom one, so then when it rains, it doesn't settle on the ledge of these stones. I think that's uh, what's going to happen in theory. But um, This bit here, I've already sprayed it with water, so what I sometimes do is get um, like a, an edge of mortar lined up against my, um, my pointing paddle there, look, see, or whatever this is, plastic thing is called. And then I just go along and push it in, like that. Okay. Doing the shallower ones are, is easier and quicker. So, okay, well, we'll leave that one for a minute as well now, because you can go back and uh, neaten them up after. Okay. Um, so that's quite a deep one as well, so what I'll probably do is just Leave that one up to there. Right, if we go back to this one, you'd be amazed at how the um, the old line, the old secure line at the back, um, has actually zapped all the moisture out of this. That's quite firm now at the top. So I'm just going to put another thin layer on this bit that we did before um, to just build it up. When you uh, take the old render out, the old pointing material out, just make sure you give it a good hoover before you start pointing it, because otherwise it'll, you don't want it dusty, you don't want loose debris in there, um, in the places that you're gonna try and put the line. Okay. Right then, now I've filled in those gaps that I was gonna do. See that one out there? See? That one's all done. And that was that big one that we kept on layering up there. Alright, and that's that little one down there. Okay, and then I've still got obviously more to do down there. Now to neaten this up, just so it looks a bit more like say that. We're just going to take our um, uh, pointing trowel and I'm just going to just get some of the lines. This has been standing, I went off and had a cup of tea once I'd done it um, and I'm just going to neaten it up now, just get some of the, just neaten some of the edges up. Um, try not to do what I do and I, I just try I just go over the top of it a little bit at times which um, and I annoy myself with to be honest because then when you come down the next morning and you look it actually looks all right but when you're just looking very close at one area you do tend to go you can just fixate on trying to get it absolutely perfect with the grand scheme of things it can actually look um, all right anyway. Okay, so just 
Okay, just smooth all that down and just make it look really nice. Okay, get rid of some of the lines in it. Okay, there we go. And if I get the if I get the paintbrush, if we go here and and what it can do as well is actually smooth smooth it into some of the cracks that you didn't quite actually get. Okay. Uh, gets all the le loose little bits off as well. Okay. And that's my pointing. And as you can see, it looks fine. Thank you for watching my YouTube video on how to point a stone wall up. Um, if you liked it, like it and subscribe to me if you want to.